And we are also following a developing story right now out of London where a man is under arrest for driving into pedestrians and crashing his car into a security barrier outside the Houses of Parliament. CBS4's Bianca Peters is live in the control room with the latest on this. Bianca. Yeah, Lauren, well, British police say they arrested a suspect in his 20s, and they're treating this as an act of terrorism. According to witnesses, the man deliberately crashed into pedestrians and cyclists, heightening tensions in London, which has seen a string of vehicle-based terror attacks in the last 18 months. It took just minutes for armed police to arrive at the scene of London's latest suspected terror attack. Officers arrested a man in his 20s, accused of targeting commuters during the morning rush hour. Several people suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Given that this appears to be a deliberate act, the method, and this being an iconic site, we are treating it as a terrorist incident. The security camera captured the moment the suspect drove into cyclists before jumping the median onto oncoming traffic and slamming into a security barrier at Parliament. The bang was really, really loud, so, I mean, they must have hit it at some speed. In March of last year, a man drove into pedestrians on Westminster Bridge, killing four. He then stabbed to death a policeman on the grounds of Parliament before officers shot and killed him. Move back! A few months later, a van with three attackers plowed into pedestrians on London Bridge. They got out and started stabbing people, killing eight and injuring dozens more. Move, move. The suspect in this attack is being held on suspicion of terror offenses. Authorities say he acted alone and is not cooperating with investigators.